Okay, today I'm looking at a game called Haven's Compass. It's incubated by CDFI. It's a tactical shooters game. And uh, they are partnering with different uh, networks such as SUI and Scale. I don't know how does that work. So if you come to their about section, it's a Web3 first person tactical shooter game developed by Ghost Ivy, which we'll look at it later. And the game focuses on fast paced type of shooter and it's a multiplayer and single player. And they have three different arenas, which I will try to look at them once I get to the gameplay. And they have a FAQ, which they have a bunch of different random questions. So where can we play Haven's Compass? So it's on PC and it's going to be on consoles. So I downloaded it from Epic Games. And the launch date has been in January 2023. But the full game will come out in sometime in 2025. So is it a generic shooters game? They say no. They have some technicalities to make it more fun. And there's a question about joining the team. So I don't know if it's joining the Haven's Compass through ghost ivy they mean and why would they put it here i don't know that's the most asked question so currently they are selling a bunch of uh, game keys i'm not recommending anyone to buy these but they are 20 50 and 100 bucks depending on which tier you go for and you can buy them either on sui wallet which actually comes out to be lower because 20 sui at this point is less than 20 dollars so you can save a few bucks if you go with sui but for the other tiers the SUI one is not the best idea because now they have decided to calculate actually how much SUI they should get for that 50 bucks or the 100 bucks they wanted. But before buying anything from a game, you should always check out the game and see how it feels, if it's to your liking or not. Heaven Compass is going to be, of course, uh, launched on CD5 since they incubated it. And as for other investors, I don't see anything about it. So it's just CD5 game. But if you go to the scale uh, ecosystem, you see that Heaven Compass is listed there so they are working with both of the networks or maybe even more so now let's check out ghost ivy when you go to their website it says we are an uber cool game development studio with a weird looking logo and they have two games actually so one of them is the haven's compass and another one is gospers i don't know if i'm saying it right so they have two locations two core teams two projects and gospers was the first game which was supposed to be a nft based game and they're working on haven's compass so going to gospers this is how the game is looking currently the twitter page has been like silent for a long time but recently they have dropped the news about uh, 2024 q1 they're making a new build i hope they're making a new build because this doesn't look very promising but at least something is getting built so we have to wait and see what happens but as for the token price for gospers it's pretty much dead so it has a 24 hour trade volume of 379 bucks i don't know who's doing that and funny enough the game actually launched on bsc pad and game zone which are the same i think the incubators or launch pad and it did an all-time high of 64x so it was a great launch but as you can see after that nothing else happens and the coin just went down and down the market cap currently is 15k but let's jump into haven's compass gameplay and see what it's all about so this is the first preview scenes they're showcasing their arena i think one of the arenas and their characters it's made on unreal engine and i actually as i said i got it on the epic game so you can download it from there the tutorial is not working at the moment so i had to go for the multiplayer so you can join a match when you go to multiplayer but when you start a game you won't find anything so i guess no one's playing this game or it's not online or the servers are not up i don't know so let's not waste our time with this let's check out the armory very quick so they have different kind of weapons which you can add uh, different kind of uh, perks to them. So you can change your weapons as you like. There are different weapons with different stats, obviously, even secondary weapons if you want. And the melee is only a knife. And you have explosives, which looks like a lotion bottle, I think. They have. I don't know what it is. It's a frag grenade. Yeah, I, I wish I could zoom in and see how it looks. Or maybe they could put it under the light. I don't know why it's there. I don't know if I'm going to change anything here. And they have different characters. So you have a uh, wow, Vago Band okay the names are so hard i'm gonna go with it they have the v they have the j and they have yes me so i'm gonna host a match at least to see the environment let's start a match and yeah so they have three different maps so i'm gonna check them all i have to name this so i'm gonna name it test or no i'm gonna name it subscribe so please do so and let's jump into the 
game hold jump button to perform a super jump okay that's that's nice of them to tell us you should always check out the settings and the key bindings to know what the game can offer so you have interact you have the holster weapons i don't know what's ftp jump laser lean left lean right so there are a bunch of cool things you can do in this game okay th this is the map the first map that i chose i don't know if these have to look like this but i think they do um, the graphics doesn't look bad but i don't like how the hand is looking the hand looks like especially in the shadow it looks like a cooked chicken with some glazing on it okay at least you can break glasses that's always cool I don't know if these glasses can cut you or not, but you can actually walk on them so they can block. Yeah, they can block you. So you have to keep breaking them so you can get back. Okay. Oh, but not all glasses can be broken. So these are glasses and they're really emphasizing on the sound. So yeah, it shows that you're shooting at glasses. I, I want to know if, if I shoot at something else. Yeah, it sounds like a missile, but I think it's very exaggerated now right? they're trying to say that we even worked on the sound i guess okay what i'm gonna shoot is this water okay shooting at the carpet is the worst sound hmm i cannot say how it sounds if anyone can comment down below what it's really sounding like so let's check another weapon okay there the switch takes a lot of time so I mean, I, I I don't think I can do it faster in real life, but I didn't come here to play like real life. So what's this for? Oh, let's perform the long jump. So I'm holding down jump. Oh, yeah, you can jump really high. So let me hold down and see if I can get to the top floor. Mm, no. So this is the normal jump. And if you hold down... You can hit your head to the ceiling. Okay, the animations and the sounds, they feel a bit exaggerated. I know in many games I would say that they don't have these effects, but this one has too much of it. So let me just shoot it. Oh, oh, this is the lotion. Oh no, this is the knife. Okay, I cannot see the knife blade. I'm guessing it's there. Yeah, once you start using it you can see the blade okay let's okay the walking is a bit slow but the running makes it good so i don't mind this this running is good it's fast i can feel it and i like it it's actually a little too fast maybe no but i like it fast i prefer to run fast than slow okay this is the grenade which we cannot even see it it's the lotion that i was talking about okay oh the animation looks good i like the fire and stuff so they really work on the visuals and the sound and those kind of stuff oh yeah and you know on the like a slippery surface it actually slides so it went further than when i was throwing it here on the stone surface oh and when you go to the end of your weapons you have to like roll back you you cannot just keep uh, turning the mouse wheel to go to the first uh, item so that's something they should like change because i usually when i'm on the last one i just want to keep scrolling up and to get to my primary but here you have to scroll backwards to go back to the previous one. okay for the second match i changed my character i changed my weapon yeah subscribe that's still the game and we're going to kill that the names are so hard crouch while sprinting to perform a slide Hmm. maybe these are the technicalities they said they're gonna work on oh yeah okay this hand looks a bit better but it looks like the tattoo is not a tattoo and it's been like used with a shrink wrap or something to just wrap it around the hand the surface they really worked on it but the lights hmm. why and it has a real bad effect on the camera like not bad as in uh unreal but it looks maybe real i don't know i've never been near these kind of lights but it's unnecessary okay oh man 
who wants to use such a weapon with so many lights coming out i cannot even see what i'm shooting at okay yeah as i said the the things are really exaggerated the effects let's use a flashbang but i hate to use it up close okay where did it go okay you have that buzzing sound in your ears let, let me see yeah again with the sounds and everything the effects is really there so this is the crouch and crouch is a toggle that's what i like so i can toggle it let me perform a slide on these rocks and burn my okay the slide is not going far enough let's see no the slide is not going very far i don't know if it's because of the surface or not i have to check that this out in the other arena so the knife is still the knife this one was bad let's use the shotgun okay i don't know i have i've never used this shotgun but the sound is not very promising there's a fissing sound as if you're shooting into water or i don't know be from behind the pillow and does the sound change when you're in a like a closed area no but that's too much i mean changing the sound relative to your location that's too much this map is quite small i think it would be a fun battle over here so let me see how will this work so i'm here oh yeah this is good this is workable the tree doesn't look nice i mean they did all this texturing and lighting is this a tree oh no it's a pillar but it doesn't look very smooth i don't know why let me see what settings i have this on video settings it's epic it couldn't get any better so yeah these they don't look very nice maybe they are made of something that looks like this but i don't think so v is hitting with whatever you're holding so if i'm holding the uzi yeah i'm gonna hit with this but if i hold it down it's gonna switch to the knife g okay g is just a throw of your grenade yeah so that's a fast button r is probably reload yep the reload looks good i don't mind it let's reload the shotgun which is always the okay okay this is a fast shotgun yeah it doesn't have to be like inserting each bullet at a time so let's have a quick look at the other map and wrap this up so i'm jumping into the last map which again is hard for me to it's cabrada cabrada crouch while spring okay that's the same hint they gave us before so i changed my loadout it should be changed yes i have this i have the explosive and i'm using the other character so hoping to see something but okay at least when they're clothed the characters look now nice. okay this hand i can go with it especially with the coat texture and the uh, gloves they look nice so right click does this and let's change the weapon okay yeah this gun doesn't sound properly uh, i don't know now it sounds better but previously it sounded like some laser thing. okay i want to see if i can run and hold down jump to jump hi yes i can but once you land you have to again hold shift to run so if you're holding shift and you jump you have to hold again so that's something doesn't work for me if i'm holding down shift i want my guy to always keep running so they put the effect of the electronics getting destroyed but nothing visually is getting destroyed except did i smudge it did i do that i don't know so yeah this is it for the heaven's compass the first looks i could get there was no gameplay like combating even with npcs i couldn't know how it feels when you shoot a person that's what i care about i want it to be fun when shooting down people so let me know if you have played this game and uh, what you think about it thanks for watching subscribe